to no problem is there not a solution? Christ in his time was seen and known by many of his fellow Jews initially in the Holy Land and this was a big problem for the authorities because people were following the truth Christ <coughs> another one of the dilemmas through all ages but I'm here in this age is false prophets so how do you know you're not being led astray so for me don't try and follow me the Holy Spirit will speak to you with oneself within if there's something that you must say or you must do I am blessed to know in part the Holy Spirit he will speak to me the Holy Spirit will speak to me directly and show me what it is to do so but follow God's word if I can help people to see that more clearly yes that that I can do just because I do but I don't want followers don't I mean that's that's falseness to me all I seek to do is to let your light shine in this world and it's so simple as a child to believe in your word simply so the two commandments love God love your neighbor as yourself well everyone understands that love what is it to love at whatever age you are from little children to the oldest old person we all know what that means and yet so then love your neighbor as yourself and yet somehow we lose sight of that and for me the crying screaming problem remains that people will do this in God's name I kill their fellow men and women and then people get turned off religion man's organized religion what a surprise again in my case in particular there was a former Archbishop Robert Runcie first born in Iraq so oh, yes we use the Old Testament to justify a holy war rubbish absolute twaddle for me in my lifetime there's the war Vietnam the innocent people end up getting killed I'm not a political campaigning fellow Christ did not absolutely not get armies to you know to fight the Romans the Romans were in occupying power in, in the Holy Land and so on absolutely he totally completely did not in the slightest way the, he healed the ear of the soldier that uh, Peter cut off when they came to arrest Christ so again follow Christ what is his example so my prayer remains Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I will give unto you rest. Well, come, come to Christ. Anyone, especially those who doubt, especially those who've had difficulty with organized religion. Just come. We can chat through the internet or come, come to Jolly Old Stone. <laughs> There's a lovely amphitheatre place, and in the winter we can find somewhere warm. You know, <laughs> well, I can come to you if you like. <laughs> anyway, I long for this to share my love of God through Christ with you all. I long for this. <laughs>